we could really squeeze one in and we could extend, we could extend the house. Part of me feels like we need a second bedroom. Loving this new music. I was thinking about getting tiny living, should I? I think you should. But like, obviously we all have a budget to work within, so. I think, I, I think it's worth it. My first pet stuff, obviously, you know, probably not everyone would suggest that one, but tiny living, I think a lot of people would say, yeah, it's a good one. Laundry day was good too. Yeah, I liked laundry day too. Oh, and then we're, we've got the community stuff pack that will come out eventually as well um, to keep an eye on. I don't know when that will come out though. Uh, Lucy, thank you so much for donating. Uh, thank you very much. And Kata Sim, thank you for the 49 months. Uh, four years, that's crazy, Kata Sim. Thank you very much for your support. And you were the first streamer I watched on Twitch and now I have a few different Twitch fans and I'm starting my own tr streaming too. That's awesome, Kata Sim. Congrats. Uh, Haley K, thanks for the 50 bits. And Lisa Kennedy for the donation. What do I think of Perfect Patio? Uh, perfect Patio, let me remember what's in it. Perfect patio stuff. Oh, that was what the hot tubs came with. Oh yeah, there's some good counters in that as well. Um, good counters, good outdoor furniture. There's actually a lot of stuff I use in that pack all the time. The barbecue, the coffee table, the outdoor table, um, the outdoor chairs, umbrella. That is a, that is a great stuff pack. Uh, but create a sim, I wouldn't say is particularly great. So if you just want new furniture and hot tubs, it's pretty good. <laughs> H Baxter, I've, I've noted down that feedback. So if this is going to be like a gardening room, because there's a hole up here in the top going down so it's you know rain could get in there technically i think it should be like a full-on sunroom kind of space with some nice big doors you know not that there how tall is this wall this is a short wall okay uh i mean we could use this industrial door again that we quite like and also could we experiment with like just an open ladder here maybe this could be a balcony space this get famous thing is confusing me that fence because it's from get to work I don't understand why that says get famous on it Unless I just am silly, which could be the case. Or maybe a half wall, flip the ladder. You think it should be flipped that way? So they have to go around this side? Really? Yeah, like that. Oh. Oh my. Is that how that that is meant to go? I'd put it on the opposite wall. Like this? 
Oh yeah, that looks better. Good call, good call, you guys. See, I'm just not used to this ladder thing in the game. I don't even know how to use them. This is what happens when a simmer goes for so long without a ladder. They just don't know what it's like to use one. It's so sad. I quite like this. I think this little nook's kind of cool. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> What, what stuff pack is the best creator sim stuff? Oh gosh, now you're really testing me. Um, I'd really have to go through them again. I'm not sure I'm confident enough to answer that on the stream without checking out all the packs and refreshing my mind. Cause they, some of them blend together in my brain. This should be a little higher like that. Cool, and I would like to make this area have some AstroTurf up here too. Um, Hammer Sims, thank you so much for the 21 months, Hammer Sims. Appreciate you and your support. And mm, Lopez113, thank you for subscribing. Um, I love Creative Sim from university. Yeah, that was some good stuff in uni. Hi Stacia, what's up? Ah, uh, thanks, Miranda. That's really sweet. And KDT, thank you so much for donating. Uh, we are at $1,595. Fantastic. This is a success. I think I'm gonna have to lift our goal next stream. Okay, maybe we should put something different on the walls in here that's from the pack as well. You know, maybe we should go for something a little bit different. A little bit unusual. What about this? A little bit of a, ooh, shiny, shiny moment. We could go for a rock moment. We could go for a little bit of like a wooden moment. <laughs> There's a lot of moments we could have right now, but the question is, which one do we want to have? Or we could just go for a bit of a colored moment, coral moment. <laughs> uh, Yuan, welcome to your first stream. The last three packs have very good creative sim. Yeah, generally the later packs have better items because I know the whole team's become becoming more and more skilled. KDT! Oh, I already shouted you out. Thank you so much for the $10 donation. Uh, and Missy Ellie, thank you for your three months. It's 11 p.m. in Wisconsin. Wisconsin? I always struggle to say that. I like the shiny, shiny moment. I think the shiny moment was pretty cool. I mean, it is an industrial build. We could also do like a shiny black chic moment. Uh, or like a shiny blue moment. Shiny. Oh, we have been into the green recently. Oh, it's such a hard choice. I think the black or the green. I'm kind of liking the black look. Um, <laughs> I watch a lot of glue on and I have to say this build is so clean. <laughs> Yeah, because this build's always crazy. And maybe instead of the wood flooring out here, we go for this nice natural tile. It's honeycomb effect. It's very nice. Or we could go industrial in here too. Or we could go for this chipper. Chipper chip. Which I think would be really bad if the rain got onto it. But hey, maybe uh, maybe it's coated in something, so it's fine. I'd like to do colored mint bathrooms as well. I feel like green. Green, where's my mint? Minty fresh wall. <gasps> Wrong one. Minty fresh, minty fresh. Everybody likes a minty fresh. 
hey, I made up a song whenever Bowser goes to daycare because I want to like be able to communicate with him when it's daycare day. I was like, I know, I'll sing him a song every time he goes and we get ready in the morning so he knows where he's going. So it goes, everybody needs a daycare day. Everybody needs a daycare day. I mean, that's all I know so far, but I think it's pretty good. <laughs> How'd you get so good at building? Any tips? Um, ah, oh, I just, I don't know. Thank you for saying I'm good at building. I think I just practiced a lot. I played a lot of Sims in my life. And when you're an old bird like me and you've been around the block a few times, you learn a few tricks here and there. Deli is the best dog mom, that's sweet. I've had to learn a lot. Tower 10 with daycare again. <laughs> Deli Eco has some cute green walls. Oh, really? Oh, actually, the plane, yeah, the plane wall we looked at before is Eco. Eco Living. This one, you're right. That's a minty fresh. That's like a spearmint. Experiment fresh look, which I'm living for. Let's put, oh no, now we have too much green. Let's put that there. We need to get some tiles in here. We can get these tiles. I don't think there's any minty fresh green tiles that we can really work with. These are semi minty fresh, but they're just not quite there, you know? Jungle Adventure have any good ones? Ooh. Oh, I got my net. Jungle Adventure, here we go. Are any of these minty? How hard is it to find a minty fresh tile in the game? Gosh, you guys, it's real hard. Ooh. How do you say this, linoleum? Linoleum? I never know how to say that. Um, Cat72, thanks for the bits. Uh, I find I just spend so long trying to make a house that it looks terrible. Oh, It's okay. I mean, I think looking out floor plans is a great idea. Watching people's videos to get ideas. Even downloading builds from the gallery and just placing them and looking at how they're built can give you great ideas too. Linoleum. 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 Such a weird word. Linoleum. What would you do if I said I was having a baby and then when I had the baby I called it leoleum? Le linoleum. Linoleum, come here. Linoleum's first day at school. And it could be called Linny for short. I just remembered how you used to always talk about how your dad said facade instead of facade. It wasn't my dad, it was actually um, a, a teacher um, at my uni. They used to say facade in like an art seminar class instead of facade. He might not have such a good school experience. Please don't. You do you. See, at least Am Cedar respects me enough to say, you do you. <laughs> Deli say platypus. Platypus. <laughs> Jam Jim, that's funny. Uh, do it for the pasta. Nice face. In West Australia, we call it lino. Yeah, I think I've heard lino too. Oh, what about this? This is quite good. I know it's linoleum, um, but it also looks like a cool flooring to have here. We could do this one. This one's very clean looking. This one's a little bit more exciting though, because we've never used that before for a bathroom tile. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it, because everyone needs a daycare day. Such a good song. 
Okay, so we have our decking area. I want to put some windows around here too. Ah, my window's gone. Also, can I wear my retainers on stream? It makes my lisp really bad. Will people, will you guys make fun of me? Because I think I need to start wearing it on stream. It has texture, yeah. At least try it, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, why, do, why not live a little? Why not live outside our box? Okay, where's my pack? Make sure to stay hydrated, everyone. We'd never judge you, wear it. We also love the lisp, thank you. My family said when I was little, it was the cutest thing. Not as cute now, but still cute. <laughs> but when I wear my retailer, it's like full of like this guy. <laughs> Oh, actually, we don't want to have windows like looking into the toilet, do we? What we could do is have a... Oh, I wish these windows came in just a black swatch. I'll just use this one instead. Oh, yes, because we can use alt now. I can position it in the middle. I mean, when you go up the ladder, though, you're going to see into the toilet. Maybe let's not do that. Oh, or we could put the really skinny mini window down the bottom that came with, what was it? Oh, this window, oh no, 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 no. Is that really, this one, spa day window. So, you know, it gets like a little bit of light in, but no one can really see in. It gives you character, thank you. I'm learning so many words in English just watching this. <laughs> you know, I do get a lot of comments saying I learnt how to speak English from watching your videos. Do you know how cool that is? I think that's very cool. Or see their nuts up the ladder, ew. Just put a curtain. I mean, maybe I should put my retainer in now. Should I just put it in now? It's going to be super painful, though, because the problem is I, I forgot to wear it for so long that now I can't wear it overnight because it's too painful, so I just have to wear it now and then during the day. But if I wear it during streams, then that's like a good two or three hours of wearing it. I love this tiny living, this tiny living moment. So nice. Uh, we also need to put a door in here. I'm gonna grab this door. Do it, do it. Your teeth won't be used to it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we could place doors in the middle. It's just such a beautiful moment. Oh, so much. Okay, well, I'll just go get it. One second, one moment. Oh, I'll save also, you guys were telling me, don't forget to save. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Everybody needs a daycare day. Okay, let's pop this bad boy in. Okay, I'll kind of do it off camera so it's not. Oh my god, the pain. Yeah, see, no, I don't know the difference. Okay. I was really confused by the, oh no. <laughs> I just realized we totally need the door on the side here otherwise. Oh wait, wouldn't we just have it from this room? Yeah, we'll do it like that. 
This is a great idea. If I wear my retainer, then it's so productive, like productive in terms of my teeth. You sound great. <laughs> Thanks guys. What do you think of these bathtubs? Oh my God, my lisp is so bad. <laughs> If your retainer is painful, put it under hot water. Won't that ruin the shape of the retainer though? You'll get used to it, thanks. Oh, We should just have a retainer stream where all viewers are encouraged to wear retainers with me. I don't really like these bathtubs with like the glass in them. I mean, it's a cool design, but I find it I think it looks really unrealistic, whereas these are a little bit more realistic looking. What do you guys reckon? Is that just my thoughts or is that everyone's thoughts? I'm not really into the black bathtub, we might do the gray one. I'm wearing my retainer for nighttime right now too. Yay! I had braces for nearly two years and my retainer gave me a major lisp. <laughs> yeah, I hate the glass. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I don't know, maybe there are bathtubs like that, but I've never seen one. Oh, that's what my orthodontist said, but it's probably not the best advice. Uh, it's okay. I felt it's too modern for the expansion. Yeah, I would have liked something a little more. It's kind of like the Fabricator. The Fabricator looked so super modern. I was like, oh, I wish we just got like a cute workbench to kind of go with the juice fizzing station and the candle wax station. That would have been cool. Ah, I can relax now with my retainer in. <laughs> All right, uh, we need to have a mirror in here. Whoa, that's a big mirror. I love this mirror. This is really cool, but that's custom, custom content. This season's mirror is quite high up. Remember the mirror they gave us in Tidy Living? How it was really high on the wall? <laughs> and we're like, um, how do your sims look into that? But it's so high up the wall to fit above the dresser. I'd prefer more beds to toilets, yeah. We need to make like a list of things for the sims to not make any more of. Toilets. Bars, um, what else? Thanks, Evie. Ceiling tiles would be nice, yeah, agreed. Bars, mirrors, oh, I like where we get mirrors. I, I'm happy to get more mirrors, but just really basic ones. Okay, well, that's a cute little bathroom we got here. Maybe a little floor mat. I actually really like this flooring in here, even though it's quite, quite unusual. Let's size down this. How wide is this? So, uh, I mean, it kind of works in here. Ooh. Ooh, I didn't like that. And should we have something on this wall? Maybe it should be the solid green. Oh, I know what we could put on the wall. You know how down here we use this fun wallpaper, which isn't in the pack, by the way, you guys. This is a cost of content bit of wallpaper. Yay, that's cute. More kitchen counters are so needed. Yeah, the reason why they don't do kitchens very, kitchen counters very often is because, you know, like every object in a pack is one asset. So like a chair is an asset, a flower vase is an asset, um, and every asset, costs like some budget, which would be time of someone making it, etc. So the thing with one counter is it's not one asset. It's actually all the counter pieces. So it's actually 
one, two, three, four, five, six assets. Um, so they don't do them very often because it takes up the spot of like six other assets they could do. But I mean, I think it's worth it. Like I love the idea of having more counters. I'd have more counters over like another toilet and a bar and a, I don't know. Oh, you think that eco toilet, basin and bath are supposed to be wooden with plastic resin? Yeah, actually I think you're right because it says in the description it's resin, I think. Yeah. It does make sense, but it's just not something I see in the real world very often. It's very cute. Okay, so we have that little bathroom made. This was going to be another bedroom over here, and it's a bit of a shame because if you stay in this bedroom, you'd have to go downstairs to use the toilet. So what I'm thinky dinking is we put another bathroom in here too, just like that. What should we put in the other bedroom? Do we want it to be like a fizzing area? Do we want it to be a kid's bedroom? Do we want it to be a grandparent's bedroom? What are we thinking, fam? <laughs> hey, Lynn, what's up? Spare room. Uh, teen room. Okay. We'll have a little thinky dinky about it. Um, also, we need to put the rest of the windows in. So we have a couple of factory windows on the lower level, which I think I want to continue. This is from Mosquito Park. Uh, cause there's gonna be a TV right there. Let me just put, why are those intersecting? I thought they could be placed next to each other. How strange. A couple like that. We've got enough windows on this side. I think they look pretty good. Uh, we don't need one back there. We could put one, we could have a window over here for the toilet. Like a little university window in there just for a little bit of fresh air to come in. A yoga studio would be a nice idea. I do like that idea actually. And I love the idea of having all this like corkboard stuff everywhere. I, know, I just think it's cool. And then, oh, maybe we should do another one of these little windows for the bathroom up here too. And that looks okay. It looks all right. We have a matching window on this side. Probably should line these up at the bottom of the windows. Um, Got fan 1977, thank you so much for subscribing for four months. Appreciate you very much. A skills room, a yoga studio. We could do like a wellness studio. Maybe Bindi's into, you know, that wellness life. Uh, as much as I did say we're going to make this into a glass room, now that that wall is open, I feel like we don't need to have as much glass in here. So I'm really into the idea of having a laundry day door just like this, because I think it looks like it's a upcycled door. We can have this going out to the balcony. This window seems a bit big. Or... We could have one of the new like shipping container windows. If anyone got this pack and has not or does not ever make a shipping container home, I'd be really surprised. Because I feel like, you know, it's just asking for you to build a shipping container home, all of these items. I might even put this over here. Yeah, I think that looks quite good. Oh, we need some framing around this. You've made like three, yeah. 
Are you guys talking about having disabilities in The Sims? I think, um, I think The Sims team would love to put uh, disabilities in the game. I think they would really like to add that to the game. Um, so I'd love to see them do it. I mean, I think hearing aids, I saw someone mention that in the chat, could be a really good one. I'm also gonna change some of these pillars to gray. Oh, actually, no, we have a problem if we do the grays. Right, look is good, okay. Um, hearing aids would be a nice, easy one because it's just to create a sim asset, I think. Uh, the only thing is on different shaped ears and ears are different sizes, maybe it would be hard to make it. It'd be like earrings, but different, like making it fit. Um, and also if you, it'd probably be made to be like an earring and then if you had a hearing aid and then you weren't allowed earrings because they couldn't layer, maybe that would cause problems. You know what I mean? Like it might not be in the game build to be able to layer e earrings. But then again, you can layer earrings because you have the lobe earring and the high piercing. So maybe they should just add it as a uh, accessory. Prosthetics would be cool too. But I know that like adding wheelchairs would be really hard because they'd have to reanimate so many things and then they'd have to decide like, okay, what objects can a wheelchair interact with and what objects does it not interact with and all of that extra animation and drawing those lines of what they can and can't do could be really problematic with maybe offending people if wheelchairs weren't able to interact with certain objects, you know what I mean? So I think the idea is really cool, but I think it would be really hard to do well. The more like earbuds. Yeah, I feel like a hearing aid could be easily done. But then again, I'm not like a game programmer. I have no experience in that. So I have no idea how it works. <laughs> I'm purely just thinking about like as a general knowledge thing, if it seems hard. Deli Bobo, thank you. Yay, Jenna, welcome. My sister and mom both have hearing aids. Yeah, so it'd be really nice to be able to like make your mom and sister in the game and have their hearing aids too. Okay, what should we, we're going to make this into a little yoga studio. If this is a yoga studio, we don't really need a second bathroom. But then again, it would give you the ability to make it into a bedroom. So I'll put a bathroom in here anyway. I was gonna maybe mirror the bathroom we have here. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'll make it slightly different. Like, maybe have a shower in this one. They can't all be the same. The shower's maybe a bit much. Put that there. We'll pop the, maybe the mosquito glass. Oh my God, what am I doing? <laughs> At the very least, walkers and canes for elderly sims. I mean, I would love that too. That would be so cute. Oh, that's too big. Um, that would be really cool. And that would require a new walking animation. And then how would they just put the cane away to interact with stuff, I guess. But they could have like a walker for their walking animations. That would be cool. Cause yeah, you have to think about it from a technical perspective too. Like they just can't, they can do anything, but it'll take a long time.
Use a CC bathroom divider. I was trying to find something else to use that isn't bathroom CC, but that's pretty much exactly what I want. <laughs> I'll show you guys the bathroom one uh, by Felix Andre and Harry. It's just this, it's like a window without a wall. It's really good. University has a glass divider. It does, does it? It's a bit of a weird one though, isn't it? Yeah, because it's, it's good, but it's got like a hole underneath, so. Ah, actually it looks kind of cool. I just wish it didn't have the hole there. Not bad though, you can just kind of pretend there isn't a hole. Uh, you can add a wall and use a window. Yeah, we could do that too. Maybe we'll just do that and use the eco window. Did I place the eco window anywhere? Oh yeah, just here. Um, thank you so much for subscribing, Bethany, for two months. Glad I catched you uh, with the time zone here in Sweden. Oh yeah, uh, Europe's starting to wake up now, I think. Okay, we can just put the window here and then we can delete the wall underneath. Perfect, no walkers. There we go, might leave it as like a black one there. Okay, we're just gonna go all matchy matchy. Why not, folks? Why not? Mm. Bathroom accessories. Yummy. Which do you prefer? Bathroom storage and like wardrobe storage and drawer storage? Or do you prefer, uh, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Or stationary, like pens and notepads and stuff. I personally think I prefer like storage containers more than stationary. But I feel like those are two things that a lot of people really get into. Stationary person care. Hmm. Are the tiles around your shower not different? Um, in my bathroom, that it's the same the whole way. Pop that there. Cool, so you can get a little towel rack. It's nice, nice. We definitely need a toilet roll because let me tell you, I've experienced many times toilets with no toilet rolls and let me tell you, that is stressful. And I do not want my Sims going through what I have to go through. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Put some plants in there. Do I recommend Jungle Adventure? Uh, it's probably, it's not one of my personal favorites. I don't use the jungle adventure very often, but I did have fun playing it for a little while. And there are some nice hairs and items in it, but it's not like a pack. I'm like, yes, you have to have it. Mm, yeah, I agree, Jim Jan Jr. Uh, Sims13010, thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, Pool Angela 511 thank you for subscribing. Okay, so we've done the bathroom over here. Cool, so this is going to be a yoga room we decided. So we're gonna use some spa day things. Um, so this is really like a little wellness room. This is a type of room that would be really such a joy to have in your house. Like I feel like what a nice thing to have, the space to create a wellness room. I mean, that's really living the life. We could probably have a meditating spot right there, but I'm just not sure if the Sims will use each of these objects individually. Okay. It could work maybe. And then these walls, what should we, what kind of wallpaper should we have? I, mean, I love the idea of this tiny Twavla wallpaper in like a soft cloud or something. No, not a cloud, like something like 
Something like this is cool. Sam Piasi, thank you so much for gifting a sub to C Feline. Uh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you very much. Uh, Chevron Wood, mm, very nice. Do you recommend Spa Day for builders? I really like the tiles in Spa Day. I do use the tiles all the time. Yeah, the clouds. The clouds were cute. It's almost 1 a.m. Kitty, you need to go to bed. Good night, Tainity. Sleep well. I hope you have a good sleep. And I'm so glad, Officer Queen Bee. Glad you like my CC. Uh, and Grim CC. Oh, nice purple coffee. Spa day is fun. We could do like a, ooh, what if we did like a, uh, nah. Nah, don't worry. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm just, just ignore me. What if we did like, oh, yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most annoying person ever. Those people are like, oh, I was going to tell you something, but nah, nah, don't worry about it. Don't you hate it when people do that? And I just did that to you. A wood room like this. And then we can have really soft, beautiful lighting in the, in the corner with candles. Little candles. It's a peaceful room. I used to go to yoga classes uh, when I was in my final year of school. And... I went to some yoga classes at this woman's house and she was really good. Like it was very relaxing yoga style. Um, it wasn't like the kind of yoga that you really exert yourself to stretch and in like heat or anything. Um, PR450, thank you for the bits. Good night, sleep well. Yay, thanks Delsway. And um, this woman had the most calming voice and the most beautiful yoga room. It was like really simple and cozy. Like it was always nice and warm, but not too warm with blankets and then candles and a few statues and green things. And like, it smelled really good. And I want this to be like that. Maybe like a bamboo one. Wait, which yoga mat would I like? Which one would I buy? No, let's be let's be honest. I'd just get a black one. I'd probably get like a wooden one of these. So we'll brighten it up with um with some nice greeny things. Yeah, some of these because we gotta you know we gotta make it look lively too, not clinical. <laughs> You've left it quite late, my cool username, to write an essay at 1 a.m. Maybe you should sleep and do it in the morning. Oh no, glitter skeleton, that's not great. Finally caught your stream, yay, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm making a lovely yoga room right now. Very nice, very, very nice. You know, we could even just get rid of this so it's just like really calm in here. I like that. We need a diffuser and we need some music. Maybe a little speaker, just like here. If we go into live mode, we should choose new age music. And then we should turn it on, oh, adjust lighting. Oh no, 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 don't worry about that. Um, hello. Let's turn on our new age music and see what it sounds like. Also make sure that she can move around okay in this house. Oh yeah, it walks through easily. Good night, Mayberry. Thank you so much for your support. Oh, that's nice. 
Hype Train! Oh my gosh, the Hype Train just came in! Wow! Okay! Welcome, Hype Train! <laughs> um, Tara Kabala, thank you so much for your 100 bits. And Shaywina, thank you for the 100 bits. And Cos Assassin, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. And Ensberg Kikea, thank you for the 300 bits. And Sam Piercy for your donation. Uh, to Color of Change, appreciate you. And yeah, thanks guys. Starting that starting that hype train. What a what a surprise. Does a hype train happen on its own? It happens when you get a certain number of people who um you know donate or subscribe or cheer all at once. When there's enough hype, the hype train takes off. <laughs> Can, I, can you have diffusers if you have dogs? Because I'd be wanting one, but not sure if they are safe with my dogs. I am having the exact same dilemma, actually, because I really want to get a diffuser, but I'm not sure. There's just so much conflicting information online. A lot of people say, no, it's not okay. And other people say, yeah, if you dilute it with water and use uh, a correct essence, it's fine. But I really don't know. Uh, I've been wondering about it for a long time. Uh, Ensberke, Kia, Kea, thank you for the 300 bits. And um, Iveda Cupcakes, thank you for the 103 bits. And Jules, thank you for resubbing for four months, 26 months in total. Thank you so much, Jules. Uh, and Kaylana GBO for the bits. Your Aunt Rosie, thank you for the bits. Um, that's beautiful. April, April 22008, thank you for the cheers. As Wanxious, thank you for the bits too. Uh, crazy. <laughs> it does have to be diluted. I have two dogs and I use a diffuser. I think it also depends on the dog and the breed of the dog. Obviously something that is more congested, like a pug with smaller airways, they might be more irritated than a dog with a bigger snout and more open eyes. But then again, different dogs have different allergies like people. Where am I getting off? Um, Probably go for another half hour. Uh, then I'll take Bowser out. <laughs> so concerned about candles being near the curtain. Firefighters, uh, here for a reason oh back for a reason right that's right they're like deli's candles getting close to those curtains it'd also be nice to have like a picture here i use a diffuser my dog is perfectly fine as per vet recommendation i do not use oils in on my dog's skin or fur because that could be irritating yeah i wonder if i could just have diluted lavender Also, Bowser's often just chilling outside on the deck for hours. Like he just likes guarding outside. That's what he enjoys. So he's often not inside during the day anyway. So it kind of would, like I wouldn't have it on at night when he's going to sleep, for example. <laughs> I love that Bob Cakes um, emote too. Uh, hey, Miss Sims, thank you for the 1,000 bits. We just got to level four hype train. Woohoo! And Shailene, thank you for donating. Amazing. Yay! Uh, $30, that takes us to 1,600. Over 1,600. Uh, and Unique, thank you for gifting a sub to M's Wave. That is beautiful. And I Invader Cupcakes, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, yes, yeah, sitting paintings. I was, I was just thinking that. Oh no, guys, I need to tinkle again. I tinkle so much. I mean, it's okay if you tinkle a lot. It just means you like to stay hydrated. When you tinkle a lot, it just means that... Oh, we can use this! This uh, horizontal... I mean, ver <laughs> not horizontal, this vertical garden. Or maybe this, it just sticks out from the wall a lot. This is very moving. Look at that pride flag. 
Um, yeah, I don't really feel like that. I don't feel like that either. Uh, portrait of Jerry. The vertical planter? Good night, Sea Loves Game. Sleep well. Um, a tapestry? Yeah, a tapestry would be nice. Maybe we'll do... I just don't want... Because it's such a small room. I don't want stuff, like, sticking out from the wall. This glass moment's a bit much. I can't make a decision when I have to pee. I'm sorry, I have to pee again. I've had so much liquid on stream. I'm sorry. I'll be back. I'm back. Sorry, guys. Um, Shaylin, I did shout you out. Thank you for the uh, $30 donation. I did, yeah. I, just double checking. <laughs> um, Deli needs to do a cover of Dream Daddy. I mean, I basically do a cover of it every stream. You know, there's always a bit of song and dance. <laughs> what about these peaceful dolphins? Actually, that's kind of cool. I like that. Goes with our like industrial look and feel. Uh, Gazon, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome. Welcome to our retainer stream. <laughs> what do I think of Lady Gaga's new album? I haven't listened. I don't want to, you know, make you guys turn off the stream, but I don't really follow Lady Gaga that closely. I don't, I like her. I have nothing against her, but I'm just not super into her music. Yay, hype train! Well done, you guys! We got a new hype emote, Choo Choo Car, that's cute. I still think the best emote we got was the hype blob. The hype blob's so cute. <laughs> You're welcome, Elizabeth. I always like this stream to be a place where you can kind of de-stress. What kind of music do I like? Uh, what's that on the wall? It's like dolphins jumping or fish. <laughs> I like lots of different music. I wanted to make like a top, I don't know if you guys know Triple J, it's an Australian radio station where they play a lot of alternative music. I do quote unquote because it's like trendy alternative music. Um, they do like a hottest 100 countdown once a year and everyone like puts their votes in and the highest voted song is number one. They do it once a year. So I was thinking like I'll do a Deli's Hottest 100 and I'll rate like my favorite songs of all time and make a Spotify playlist for you guys. <laughs> ah, Diffuser and Deli streams. You guys have made me want to get a Diffuser so bad. Honky Tonk will definitely be on that. Although it's not number one, which may shock a lot of you. <laughs> you would love a Deli curated playlist. I, you know, during these rough times, it's always nice to look at what other people are listening to. 
Um, I'm a big fan of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Don't judge me. Everyone needs to have a guilty pleasure, and that is mine. And Lisa Renna, if you're familiar with them, Lisa Renna is like this woman who's on the show. She's hilarious. Um, she made a playlist and it's like real feel good dancing music. I put it on all the time. I'm like, this is a great idea. I should do a playlist too. Dream Daddy is obviously number one. <laughs> it's actually not Dream Daddy. Uh, my favorite song of all time is I don't know if it's a song many of you guys will like, but it makes me emotional every time I listen to it at the very end of the song. There's not many films or songs that make me emotional. The one film that made me emotional was Lilo and Stitch when he looks at the Ugly Duckling book. I didn't cry in Titanic. I didn't cry in, um, what's that mega chick flick that every everyone loves? The Notebook, didn't cry in that. I, I cried in Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> yeah, it's the real housewives. I love real housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't watch any of the others. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, but my favorite song is, um, it's called, wait, should I tell you guys or should I wait to make the playlist? I cried at Monsters Inc. when Sully thought he would never see Boo again. That is sad. Lion King is my favorite movie. It's a good movie. Wait for the playlist. I think I should wait so it's like a surprise, but then you guys might just look at the playlist, scroll down and be like, oh, I know what her favorite song is now. So maybe there's no point keeping it a secret. <laughs> I think I'll tell you guys, cause you, I mean, you can tell what it is easily in the playlist, but you can still like get to find out the rest of, the rest of it, you know? Tea time. <laughs> I do have really good tea for you guys, but I can't tell you yet. The tea will come soon though. Oh, I love this. I love this little side thing. Tiny Living had so many good like items in it. <gasps> Maybe I could put like a couple of these at the end of the bed. A couple of these to sit on. Is that weird? I think it kind of works. Tell us. Uh, you can't tell us you have the tea and then tell us we'll t I'll tell you later. Well, I just did. Got him. <laughs> I can't tell you now, but I would tell you very soon. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it so much. Actually, I don't know. Maybe you guys will be against it. I'd be really surprised though. But that's all I'm saying. My lips are sealed. I can, however, tell you my favorite song. <laughs> Another collab with Grim Cookies? No, 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 it's not that. It's more personal. When will we guess, when will we get the tea? Tell us or Bobo gets locked in the basement. Excuse you. <laughs> nah, I can't tell you now. I can't, I just simply can't. But my favorite song is Little Chief by Xavier Rudd. Little Chief by Xavier Rudd and the end of it makes me cry. <laughs> Cause it's so beautiful. I'll play it at the end of the, no, I won't play it at the end of the stream because it's too sad. It's not even sad, but it, it's just like moving. It's a beautiful song. DJ Deli is becoming a thing. <laughs> no, nope. But I'm not telling you guys, not yet. Ah, <sighs> dear. I'm struggling to figure out what I want to put next to the bed, actually. Mm, 
Ooh. Oh, wait. No, this is custom content too. I was going to say that is perfect. But it's not quite what we're looking for. Ooh, this one. This is quite nice. Put some of these around the place. Maybe up here near the staircase. Like, just here. Um, but yeah. It's not really working for us. Who sings Dream Daddy? Uh, I don't know the singer, but it it's like the title song for the game. Hanging plants would be nice. Yeah, let's get some... Let's get some um, bite a bug hanging plants. What's the cheat? Um, any cheats? True. Dutch or hidden objects. It's the other cheat though, right? That hanging plants are in. The show live edit objects. Yeah. Thanks, Katerson. Show live edit objects. Men, 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 men. Actually, no, I don't even need to go to debug. I think I just go to show all objects. Show all. Okay, where are these hanging plants? These hanging plants take so long to find. Ooh, these are like the objects you can find and refurbish. That's cool. Oh my God, we definitely need to have these as dining chairs. Oh, but we're gonna have this table. Oh man, but these chairs are so awesome. They're like Sims 1 chairs, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I saw something. Simone, thank you so much for your donation. Uh, you guys are all amazing. Keep being your fantastic selves. Thank you for everything you do, Deli. Thank you so much for your donation um, to Color of Change, Simone. Appreciate that so much. And Storm Like X-Men, thank you for some subscribing as well. Sorry, I have my retainer in, so it's like a little lispy today. You don't have a door to the, I don't have a door to the bedroom? Oh yeah, I don't. Thanks. Use the chairs, yeah, we, we should use those chairs. Those chairs are freaking cool. Um, all right, so what else do we have here that we wanna use? Well, I do wanna use this upstairs. I'll just get a few things out whilst we're here. I do like all the fabricated items. I think that was a really cool idea. I love the hound's tooth pattern too. It's really cool. Um, you need a window in the bedroom too. Yeah, we do need a window in the bedroom. It is very, very true. Okay, where are these hanging plants? I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. Hanging plants. I mean, maybe I could even search hanging plant. But I'm not convinced that it will show up. Ooh, eco bikes. Yes. Let's get these eco bikes. There are some really cool uh, patterns, like this one. It's really fun. Where are these hanging plants? Uh, if there are no windows in the bedroom, you'll sleep better. <laughs> you might feel claustrophobic though. I personally would struggle not having any window in a bedroom. Cause I get, um, I get really like, I have like claustrophobic anxiety. So escape rooms, I'm like, hell no. One of my friends was like, Let's go do an escape room. And I was like, let's just go jump into a swimming pool full of spiders. <laughs> um, yay, Emma, I'm glad you were able to catch a stream. That's good. You don't like them? I think they're fun. They scare me. I know you can leave anytime you want, but I still just get stressed. The idea that I'm not meant to leave. 
Ugh, don't like it. Any like, I don't like feeling trapped. <laughs> you sleep in the basement and you don't have any windows? Well, that's good. I mean, I guess humans used to sleep in caves, so it's probably a, ooh, that's nice. I do you like this? Well, the Sulani, Sulani music is so nice. This would be nice in the yoga room, actually. The gold one. Maybe a leaf in there would be a bit nicer. When will we know the tea? Uh, in a few weeks. <laughs> you guys are so thirsty. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm horrible. <laughs> no, I'm not having a baby. No, I'm not having a bambino. I'm getting another chow chow. No, I'm not getting another chow chow. <laughs> Where is this hanging plant? I don't see it. Ooh, fabricated floor lamp is kind of nice. Might pop those in there. <laughs> I just keep seeing things. I'm like, oh, that's quite nice. Fabricated wall lights. Actually, I'm a huge fan of these wall lights. It's a bummer when your sim makes something and you're like, I'm not a big fan of your work, Sim. I'm sorry, but I'm just just not feeling it. <laughs> and they're like, um, hey, this isn't, this isn't everything. I think that cheat worked. I still think the TTs is uncalled for. Yeah, this music is a bit like Planet Zoo. Did you make a build challenge with basic game and only one random expansion pack? If not, it would be good for players who don't have all the packs. Yeah, sometimes I have. Um, have you tried doing better? Wow. Yeah, I have tried to do like limited pack builds. Um, now and then, I, I really haven't done them for a while though. But there was a point in time where we used to do that a lot, especially on streams. Guys, these hanging plants is just never, I'm never gonna find it. Ooh, kombucha. Mm. Oh, I feel like a kombucha. A kombucha in the fridge. By the way, have you guys seen the cruelty-free meat thing in Eco Lifestyle? Because I find it so weird. I think it's the creepiest thing. It's the creepiest thing that has ever been in The Sims. Creepier than Sims 1 ice cream van, which used to drive around the neighborhoods. The meat wall. It's really creepy. I don't think this cheat worked, so... I guess no, no hanging plant today. Yeah, you can like massage the meat while it's hanging on the wall. And it's just like, really? I just find it weird. Like there's not many things in The Sims that I get really weirded out by, but my Sim massaging a meat wall how is that not gonna weird us out? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kathleen L. Morris, thank you so much for your donation today. That's very generous of you, thank you. Can you rate this pack from one to 10? Uh, what would I rate this pack? Oh, I love that couch. I mean, for all players? And 10 is like impossible. 10's like if you make a color wheel pack, okay? 
Um, how would I rate it? A nine, so nine's probably the highest I could give. For all players, I'm gonna rate it pretty high. I'm gonna give it an eight, but rating it personally for like against the other packs, which packs I enjoy more, I'm gonna actually drop it to a seven for me, just cause it's not something that I'm really into, the theme of it. Um, yeah, but I think it's a good pack. I think a lot of people, you know, are into it and will enjoy it. I'd probably give it like a 7.5. Yeah, around that. Bobo is here. Hi, Bobo. I wish I named Bowser Bobo. You're being legit so cute. Bow, bow. Bow, bow, it's time for your bedtime. I think we have to have a very simple rug with this wall. Oh, that must be the death flower rug. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, I don't think this is really gonna be working for us. A uh, dark rug could kind of work. Well, we could have a total like geometric clash. Uh, Shani J, thank you so much for your $5 donation. I wish I could do more. Here's to change. That is fantastic. Uh, thank you so much. Every bit counts. Thank you very much for your support and donating. Maybe I just grow a black rug. I don't know. I feel like we need like a neutral rug. This wall is just making it... This wall is punishing me for using custom content by trying to make it blend in with a rug. I want a rug that kind of matches the floor, actually. Oh, we could use this one again. We've used this rug multiple times in this build. <laughs> That's quite a good one. And Miley Smiley, thank you so much for $20 contributed. Uh, we are at $1,785. Woo, that is so good out of our $2,000 goal. I am going to uh, be finishing up the stream shortly. I did want to finish this build though. Um, but we will continue uh, g moving towards that goal in our next stream anyway. So I'm, it's okay if we don't quite hit it today, um, but every bit does count. So I'm very proud of our stream. That's awesome. Uh, Sleepy Lady, thank you so much for your $20 donation as well. Thank you. We're at $1,800. Okay, we're getting pretty close now. Okay, I think this rug works. Um, all right, we need a TV cabinet. I love this. I think this is such a nice fireplace. This fireplace probably gets the pack to from a 7 to a 7.8 for me. <laughs> Purely this fireplace is beautiful I just do or we can just do a little rug you know I'm just really not feeling the rug maybe it's the lamp I'm not feeling um maybe it's the lamp I want to keep this wall but it's really making it difficult for me to finish this I'm kind of thinking of getting rid of it getting ridding of it <laughs> I could have a lot of wood in here. I have, like too much wood. I could have like a tile. That seems weird. Oh my gosh. I just know what am I doing with my life right now? This is not working. What if we just left it green? Or mustard? Or baby poo yellow? Fluffy city living rug? The link to donate is just below the stream. Uh, it should say donate. And color of change. Maybe I'll just do, I know, let's do a dark wall. Let's like do a black wall. Yeah, yeah, okay, we did it. We did it, we solved it. It was a little bit stressful, but we got there in the end. <laughs> 
Oh my god, my teeth are so sore from this retainer, you guys. I don't know if I can have it on any longer. It's hurting me. Uh, it's not feeling this rug. I think what I always really wanted was to use these rugs. It's what I really wanted. Uh, is 10 points lamp in The Sims good or bad for the environment? 10 points lamp? Ten points lamp. I'm not sure. Your teeth will get used to it. My teeth were so sore at first. They're really trying to tell me that they don't like this retainer. I just got a message that Bowsy's getting very playful and rambunctious, so I do have to hop off the stream soon or else the zoomies are gonna come. And let me tell you, zoomies with Bowser are... Sometimes I worry that a wall may be smashed through because it's getting quite big now. <laughs> you know, he's, he's not a small boy. He's a big boy these days. Just do like a simple white one. That's quite nice, actually. Oh, look, these are the old Sims 1 TVs. So cute, I love that. Kind of looks like it should be on an angle, doesn't it? Um. Thank you, Simmery Sims, for subscribing with Prime. Yeah, he wants to play. He's ready for the park. He's about to explode. Uh, Michelle Davila, thank you so much for your $20 donation, as well as Ashley Falk, thank you so much for your $15 donation. Um, we're getting so close now, that's so exciting. I have a husky shepherd mix. Zoomies are destructive in this house. Yeah, zoomies become dangerous as they get bigger because it's like the whole house shakes as they run around and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> are we gonna be okay? <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely being dramatic. I'm not actually that scared, but sometimes you are like, okay, this is this is a little much now. <laughs> Maybe we should calm down and read it and have story time, but dogs don't really get into story time, so it doesn't really work like it does with human babies. painting. Put a couple of these up. Just like that. Okay. You have a poodle cross? Cute. I'll also just message his girlfriend to see if she's free. Uh, Sarah, thank you so much for the donation. It feels insignificant. That's all I can do at the moment. $5 donation is fantastic. Definitely not insignificant at all. Every bit counts. And $5 is still like a lot of money. $2 donation is great. Donate whatever. I'm just thrilled that people are donating, you know? Look, it sits in a little basket. So cute. All right, so we've got this big door. Jeez, cheese and whiskers. I sounded very Australian then, this door. <laughs> I do need this little bit of heat. Actually, we don't need a heater when we have a fireplace. Let's put the smoke alarm here. Actually, we'll put the smoke alarm up there. Little uh, indoor garden here. 
Uh, this table area is looking a little sad, so let's just pop a dining table. Oh, what? You can get a refurbished dining table? That's so cool. Uh, I can do a fabricated table, maybe like this. Oh god, I can hear Bowser running. I'm not sure these chairs are really going with this table. Is there just like a plain version of the table? I think there is. Mm, it still doesn't really work. Round table? Something like this. I don't know guys, these chairs are cool, but I'm not really making them work. I think I'm gonna just strip it down and do a bit of a regular schmegular look. I'm sorry to disappoint. We'll, you, we'll definitely use those chairs in another build. Will there be a stream tomorrow? Um, possibly, I'll try and stream. What if we did them all in brown? Nah, it just doesn't look right, does it? Bowser has a girlfriend. He does. He had his first sleepover the other night um, at his girlfriend's. And the next day, he slept the whole day. So I don't think they were sleeping at all. <laughs> I think they had too good of a time. And he was covered in slobber when he got home. Like, they were fully drenched the next day as well. It's quite funny. I don't usually like this rug, but I don't mind it here. Uh, Anonymous, thank you so much for your $5 donation as well. And Sierra Brooker, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, yeah, I know Bowser's growing up so quickly. It's just... Kids these days, they grow up so fast. <laughs> Uh, now I know what it feels like. And, and sometimes, actually, no, I'm not going to talk about that because it's inappropriate. Okay, so we've got the lounge room done. We've got to work a little bit on upstairs too. I might leave the upstairs and outdoors in the hallway until tomorrow just because I don't want to rush it. I still want to make it all look nice. So I'll try and stream tomorrow. If not tomorrow, the next day. Um, so we can finish off, finish it off really nicely. So yeah, we'll finish up the stream right here. Uh, thank you so much for your donations. I think the next stream we can smash through that $2,000 goal. Which is so good. Well done everyone. Thank you to everyone who's donated. Um, 